At the end of the day, summon builds are really just a slug fan club. Whether you're running snipe summons with pets like bear or poison dart frog, or running scaling summons employing the likes of turkey and secretary bird, slug is just the dream pet for every summon team. For those of you just tuning in, we have recently crossed our 500 sub milestone and to celebrate, we are going to be having our first ever Table for Two livestream this Saturday, March 9th at 9am central. Hope to see y'all there, it should be a lot of fun and I'd love to meet you guys. Seahorse, chinchilla, suchinoko, okay. Some flooded bagpipes. When one of them storms just comes through Ireland or something. I knew that chinchilla was a bad idea, but we just simply didn't have a whole lot of options. I will get it to level two though, because then you sell it for four gold. Pretty good. <laughs> and we should be good here, yep. Chinchilla redeemed himself, look at that. It all comes full circle eventually. I think this is fine for now. Okay. Level me. Ant eater, huh? Tell you, throw you in the mix. Lucky cat, maybe? nothing. I was looking for another chinchilla, but it was not meant to be. We'll get our lucky cat cooking next turn. Is this enough? Surely not. <laughs> it was pretty close though. You gotta give me that. Wasn't the worst thing ever. Okay, start me here. Something like that. Roll me. Ooh. Hmm. Not quite as nice as I was hoping. Let's see. We could poison dart frog here. That wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Even though he's not very good. It's just a little like baby snipe kind of vibe, you know? Bad ant hits. We gotta train our ants better. Okay, good. Get rid of you. Do that. Ooh, almost, almost sold my little homie here. Okay. All right. I know the Elgo Pogo is gonna cover us here, but this also gives us a little freedom in case we want to sell it. Could be pretty good. These snipes are insane. And it's only level one too. Crazy stuff. Alrighty. Yeah, see now I think we want to run this. And roll me here. Hold on to some garlic. Sure. Oh, baby, alright. If you insist. Oh, he's got the OG team. AKA the, the bad one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that little interim weekly was not it. Not in the slightest. Okay, so we do this. We throw in a blue ringed. Tell you, give you garlic. I guess we give you chocolate. What if we do this? It's honestly not bad, right? Maybe get a few more shots in there. And then what if we do like that? Ooh, I like this. Okay. 
Yeah, because you're going to eat you, and then you summon four times, four triggers for the dart frog. And then we don't have to commit to the dart frog with the chocolate, which is like even better. Ladies and gentlemen, exhibit A as to why this guy sucks. <laughs> What if we just get everybody low, but don't actually kill anybody? Doesn't that sound fun? Alright. Who are we chocolating? Whale? Are we chocolating the whale? Probably not. We need somebody on attack, I think. Yeah. <laughs> are we really gonna be running a... Poison Dart Frog build? What it's looking like. We could. We have a one in three chance of summoning a an anteater if we get a tap here. Probably not worth it. <laughs> um, and then what if we throw an onion on you? Vulture seems okay. Not the worst thing ever. Not the best. We should probably swap out the lucky cat with a with a faint pet. Maybe the wolf? Maybe. Hold on to the blue ring for a little interim scaling as well. Okay, so they don't have any snipes, which is a good start. Okay. That was weird, but we got through it. <laughs> yeah, Poison Dart Frog doesn't feel great, but we're getting there. Alright, so I think we can sell you. Do a little buy sell here. I'll throw in a wolf. Well, actually, I guess we don't need a wolf then, do we? We can throw an anteater here, and then... Maybe turkey? Turkey actually seems really good. Why have I not gone turkey yet? As long as Turkey doesn't get sniped, this actually might be okay. Well. Might not last too long. <laughs> actually, I think we're good. Yeah, we're cooking. We are cooking today. This is like a legit summon build. What the heck? I didn't think you could get like a an OG summon build going. Give you some steak. Not interested. Definitely like I keep thinking if Poison Dart Frog was on attack instead of faint, this would turn the tables entirely. <laughs> but it's not. Spinosaurus is probably smart, isn't it? Hmm. Do we do it instead of the turkey? Not yet. Get it? To where we can make him level 2, and then I'll hard commit. And yes, we're getting rid of the turkey, however... Fly is also good, dude. <laughs> There's so many good options in tier 6. What is up with this? Okay. We're hanging in there. Good snipe, fantastic snipes. Oh, baby. We're doing it. Alright. We could fly. Do we ever run a fly here? Is the whale doing anything? Hold up. I would argue no. What if we just straight up ignore the that homie? I think we do get rid of the turkey, I want to say. Because you're only going to buff a couple slugs, right? We'd rather run the Spinosaurus. 
Yeah, I like this. I think this is good. Feel free to argue if you disagree, <laughs> but I think this is the way to do it. See how well it can handle this monstrosity of a team. The answer is it almost does, which is actually very impressive, all things considered. Roll me. Looking for a level two Spinosaurus right now. We can get that. Oh baby, we're cooking. And we'll go fly, I suppose. Don't care about the slug. Um, okay. Got a few snipes. Oh, they got that guy. Exhibit number 5 million by the poison dart frog is garbage. <laughs> Get rid of it. This guy's so bad. Alright. Throw you in. See if we can get another fly. We cannot, unfortunately. Snake meat? Oh, the snake needs to get a, his onion together too. I almost forgot. Good hits, good hits. So close. So very close, yet so far. Um, do we ever not onion the snake? You know, maybe we don't do that. Snake man. Ooh. The reason I say that is because it's really only probably one more hit. I guess the fly is getting pretty big though, so maybe not. Okay. <laughs> the bear's hurting a little bit. Unlucky. I don't know, maybe the onion on the snake would have done it. Who knows? Okay, I know it's hard to believe, but I think we might actually be able to make a build work that isn't jumping. <laughs> I'm not sure if we'll be able to handle the other jumpers, but I've got some ideas up my sleeve that we can try. Ooh, that one hurts a little. Grab you, grab you. That's not half bad. One of the ones that I think is a more natural fit is the jumping. <laughs> Not jumping. <laughs> I swear, jumping is the only thing on my mind. The summons, I think, are... There's a lot of support for summon builds. So I'm thinking we try a little something like that. We run a kangaroo. Considering we have a minotaur... I just... There's no way kangaroo is worthwhile, right? Am I off base here? I feel like it's just not gonna happen. What if we do this? Okay, we're not doing a jump build. I know it looks like we are, but hear me out. We're gonna... We're gonna throw these guys in just as a little temporary thing, you know? Nothing crazy here. Just enough to get a little something interesting going. And it worked. This is the middle of the road pivot, if you will. Level me. I think I like Anteater better in this particular case. Get rid of you. I think we rock it like this. See how that does for us. And we don't mind having the sheep in the front either, because there's 
this guy brings us extra space. Okay, that's fantastic. So far, the summons are doing all right for us. And there he is. All right, so now we can pivot away here. Um, I think we can keep the Suchinoko. Primarily because... Well, actually, I guess we want the brain cramp, don't we? It's nice because it has a lot of... Um, it has their quick levels, right? But we would rather it go after the, the ram faints. Maybe we do this. I think this makes a little bit more sense. I think this is actually great. We really only need the one, you know, good faint pad here. Okay. That'll do. That'll get us there. Now let's see if we can get some levels on these guys. So we're not just doing absolutely nothing. Roman. Um, we could grab a spider instead of the anteater. What kind of tier threes are we working with? <laughs> not a whole lot. <laughs> I don't know if that's really... I can't say it's convincingly better. So for that reason, I'm going to say we don't need it. There's really no imperative to buff the anteater if he's going to be in the front. So I don't think we need to do that. But then it bodes the question, what the heck are we doing? <laughs> um, that's good. We're definitely going for that. Roll me. I mean, maybe just like a giraffe would be nice, right? Flying fish could be interesting too. We can get something like that working. Don't hit here. Thank you. Beautiful. Love to see that. Okay, summons are kind of... They're kind of pulling up right now, huh? This ain't looking half bad. Okay, and then... Yeah, let's roll a bit. Start me here. You're pretty good. I think the sheep is probably gonna go soon, right? In fact, what if we do this? Just for some cost efficiency, right? I don't think the sheep is going to make or break it here. Okay, we are against the snipe homies. Hmm, <laughs> he's got the snipe and minotaur combo. It's undefeated. Okay, we'll have minotaur level up soon. That'll be huge. I'll consider putting a potato on our brain cramp here. I feel like that would be pretty solid. And really our best summon synergy is going to be coming here in a second. Hmm, so I'm getting the feeling that uh, <laughs> our little slug homie might be the way to do it. Based on that interaction. Um, Whale doesn't fit well with Minotaur, so let's ignore him. Love that level up. Y is fantastic. Um, yeah, I think we run a fly here. You're probably supposed to be buffing you, huh? That seems pretty good. I think we're just rolling. Secretary Bird seems good. I say we go either secretary or vulture. In this case. You know what? I think I like this. You're gonna buff this guy a little bit. Really just once. 
before he jumps ahead. Yeah, I think this is good. This gives us a good bit of runway here. Well, <laughs> is what I would have said. Alright, we'll take a draw, I guess. Um, let's see. So yeah, we're getting into Loveland Frogman territory. That's scary. Roll me. Well, that's not doing much for us, is it? Not at all. We got a chocolate, though. That's not terrible. See, he's going the double strat here. I don't know if I... I don't know if I see that being the play. His kangaroo is kind of just strictly worse than Minotaur. So you're, you're not really getting the full effect, you know? At least that's my thought on it. Hold on to you in case we need it for secretary. Yeah, I'll just do that. I would like to get maybe a beluga whale would be good. I don't like just the anteater sitting here because obviously you're not taking full advantage of our lovely minotaur strat. There it is. And that garlic is putting in work out here. Holy moly. That's fantastic. Alright, tell you what. Let's do this. Throw you in. You eat food. Swallow somebody. Who do we want to swallow? None of these really seem that good. Um... Roll me. Ant eater would be fantastic. Let's let's do this. We'll get our little ant eater set up here in a second. So he's not doing much right now, but that's okay. Okay, so we got some snipage out here. The cobra's actually insane. What the heck? Okay, start me out here. What do we got? Soft ice works. And you eat that. Great. Wonderful news. Maybe some pancakes just to... Oh, that was... <laughs> I got really lucky there. What the heck? Just happened to eat another anteater. Not quite. That guy's got a good paint setup going. I respect it. Okay, go here. Um, I think pretzel's the way to do it. Roll me. We'll, we'll work with that. Huge. We might be petering out a little bit. I don't know if this build is really coming all together. Weird start here, having your homie in the front, but he is getting the, the strat going. Oh, he just barely made it through there. Alright, level me. Keep the chocolate for a second. Ooh, okay. I mean, we don't need to rush the chocolate here. It's not actually doing anything yet. I think we just keep rolling. Who 
are we gonna chocolate? Minotaur, maybe. But I'm kinda thinking we put it on like fly, perhaps? Get the fly cooking a little bit. Oh no, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> This is not good. <laughs> oh man. It's so quick getting 50-50s when you got that frogman. You know how I feel about the double bluebird start. <laughs> this guy is fantastic. We're gonna be some bald ponies. Every six-year-old girl's worst nightmare. I like it. I love it. Pop you, and then I think this is fantastic. Ooh! Two very nice hits. Thank you, Bluebird. I always hate on the Bluebird, because it feels like it's playing for the other team, but sometimes, you know, I feel like deep down I like the Bluebird. He's just trying his best, you know? Um, level me. I mean, definitely worth doing a puppy here. Wording. Alright. <laughs> Bluebird loves the seahorse. Okay, we don't have too much jumping going on. Hmm, not gonna be quite enough. We need a good pivot unit. Something that we can build around. Anteater is not that, but maybe close to that. Hold on to a peach. Yeah. Or maybe... We get crazy. I think this is stronger. You gotta play for the strong early game here. Hmm. Somehow our strong early game was very weak. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like Jackalope isn't very strong. I just thought he was though. I don't know why you're frozen still. Okay, um, Drop Bear can go. Throw in a Baboon. I know it's just buffing the Giraffe right now, but sometimes that's all you can really ask for. Here to you, you're, you were a mistake. And then, yeah. Maybe you just beat him with stats, you know? Maybe that's the way to do it. In theory, if you get enough stats and then throw some garlic on them, it should be a pretty solid case, you know? Um, I know I said we're doing garlic and then I proceeded to not, but <laughs> I promise that is in the, in the game plan here. Alright, we're good, we're good. We're hanging in there. Okay, run here, here. Really it should be more like this. Maybe that. Good, we got a level coming up. Alright, now I will grab some garlic. So they have a lot of jumps, but no jump supports. They're like all ending on the the concept of the Loveland Frog man. That's the kind of build we can work with. <laughs> I can definitely work around that. Uh, 
If we just give him a little broccoli. Make him slightly more sturdy. Because all he needs to do is survive, right? And we're good. Our scaling is holding us in it. Somehow. Level me? That's huge. Alright. We don't have a tier 5, so I'm tempted to get rid of you. You also only give 2-4. You give 2-2, two, two, but reliably. Okay, run it like this. And then hang on to you. We'll feed you like a slug or something here in a little bit. Huge. There it is. Alright. I know what our next plan is going to be. Ooh, this team is looking great. I'm loving this already. The so giraffe goes. Grab a beluga. Um, you're three three every two faints. You're three two every one. That seems like a natural pickup. <laughs> we'll go here. I think we start here because you're going to give us a whole boatload of stats. And now we see it all coming together. All right, roll me. I think at this point we're looking for level ups and generally just getting our guys strong. Uh, we could definitely work with some chocolate. Nemesis, the snake. <laughs> it might be strong enough though, it's just a level one snake. Oh, that was close. If that snake had anything higher than level one, we were toast. But it didn't. And therefore we weren't. I think it's time for you to go. I really like the idea of a cobra here. And I'll put you here. See how well this, this handles. Okay, we're not worried about you right now. I think we would have been pretty close actually if he didn't, if this guy didn't get sniped there at the end. Okay, run me here. I don't think we're getting Secretary Bird for the next level. Jump builds are too strong. They scale insanely fast. Alrighty. Double seahorse into a bluebird. Some magical presidents. Not even gonna touch it. That is a hot topic, as the kids say nowadays. Marmoset, Suchinoko. Straight up. Let's do a double bluebird. 
Sounds like a great idea. Decent hits. Can't be upset. And we come out with another dub. This huge. Alright, start me here. Combine me, go here. Can we get a level up? No. Of course not. <laughs> Just a whole bunch of half level up hybrids. That's alright. I didn't really want one anyways, I was just kidding. I was just messing around, you know. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, level me. Anteater. Sure. Throw him kind of somewhere in the middle. See what happens. And roll me. Going jumps, but I will throw in another... Ooh. Alright, I'm just gonna make an observation here. Every time... I've gotten a level 3 Bigfoot, good things have happened. Just throwing it out there. Got a good feeling about this one. There it is. That's huge. Uh, here to you. Throw in a Rootling. And... i swap anyone else out. We could grab a stoat. Stoat is like the dream pivot setup, right? If you can get a stoat to level 3, wait until tier 6. Uh, most of the time, you're just free sailing, you know? Sometimes not, but... <laughs> you you kind of have to hope, you know? The dream is alive, so to speak. Okay, here to you. Throw you in. I mean, it's hard to say no to a Minotaur when you're straight up running at level 3 Bigfoot in the front. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say about the level 3 stoat angle? It's coming. Just wait. Alright, well that was highly unfortunate, but <laughs> we weren't really that far off either. He had some good snipes, we'll give it to him. An alpaca, huh? Alright, well our rootling's time has expired, so I'll throw an alpaca in the mix. See if we were working with... I mean, straight up, this is just a level 3 worm. Level 2 worm, I should say. Crocodile? coming right up. I mean, I'd, I'd love to get a level 3 stoat here. That would be huge. Whether it will happen, only time will tell. I think we have enough life where we can really, really give it our all, you know? High key though, I feel like the stoat needs to, needs to get sold here. I just hate all of these tier 4s is the issue. <laughs> Maybe the worm gets sold. Yeah. No, but that's pretty good. Alright, Minotaur. <laughs> I know we just gave you stuff, but... This is how it has to be. Hold on to the gingerbread. Mm, not interested. I feel like we don't need a big ol' worm, homie. Just anything at all would be cool. Maybe we just do this, right? Save our stacked up rerolls for a better tier. There's a big play on that guy. <laughs> Still doesn't matter. Dude, we're like way behind the power curve right now. What's going on? Alright, now, what are we, tier 5? I mean, straight up, we get rid of Worm. Throw you in. A bear is interesting. 
Um, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Hold on to the bear. What if we buy sell you? Of course we're going melon helmet here. Llama for later. I honestly think we just wait, <laughs> you know, forfeit the two gold here and then we'll be tier six. We'll sell the stoat. It'll summon an almost level three because we have the two alpacas. This is the, the big play in my brain. Okay. Just trust the process here. That's fine. We'll take a draw. Um, shoot, we're on tier 5 still. <laughs> oh, whatever. No, uh, you're at a Bigfoot. Bigfoot is unnecessary. Level 3 Grizzly me. Level 2 Grizzly. Fly is huge. Okay, now we're in. We're online almost. Very close to it. Huge. I'll roll for a crocodile. I don't mind doing that. Well, actually, no, you're already level three. Maybe we just get a good... Crocodile's good enough. We just need you to be strong enough to get a few hits off, you know? Or just nuke their whole jump squad, too. <laughs> That's also gonna work for me. I'll, I'll accept that. All right, now we need to get you to level three, but first off, sell me. Friend faints, honestly, that's pretty good. Find you, hold on to the fly for a second. Huge. And then, we probably should play the fly. Buy so. There's <laughs> so many Spinosaurus. Apier is actually interesting. Alright, Alpaca's going. I'm making the executive call. We're going Tapir. And then we're gonna pop off or something like that. Something along those lines. Fly, huge. Straight up, I'll just throw you on. Don't mind if I do. Crocodile, huge. Oh, <laughs> baby. What did I say? It's all about the level 3 Bigfoot. That's what got us here. It was a big snipe, but we have a ginormous fly chilling here, so I think we're okay. Alright, level me, level me, and almost level me, huge, keep it coming, let's go. How does somebody make it this far with that build? <laughs> I'm not trying to hate. Look, I'm not trying to be a hater. Trust me, I'm not. But how? How does that happen? <laughs> I don't get it. Um. Hey, I'll just give you give you a peach, I guess. I don't want to get rid of your attack, you know. There it is. Dude. Dude, it is coming together. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, I love it. I love everything about it. I think we just need a potato. Potato are our backup units. Um, I think you're more important, actually. Ever so slightly. Roll me. Thank you. Uh, I'll consider a fly as well, but... 
<laughs> I think we've uncovered the unstoppable combo. This just like finessed nanade, if you will, on everything. <laughs> this is the kind of summon. Honestly, okay. For those of you having trouble this weekly, take a look at this team, okay? You need a hybrid. You need a snipe in the back. Take out any of the garbage jump guys that haven't quite scaled yet. And then just get straight up scaling, sniping, anything. It summons, it snipes, it's scaling. This is the prime example. And keep in mind, it always starts with the Bigfoot. Just put it out there. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one. Have a good one.